was Habs general manager Mark Bergman's biggest mistake during the offseason? I would say not bringing Andre Markov back or making a, you know, more of a, a stronger attempt to bring him back there. I think the the way he plays on the blue line, they don't have anyone that can replace him. And I think, too, he's a really respected guy in the locker room and would be perfect for a period like this when the season's not off to a great start. It's true. What about Radulov? It's my biggest mistake. I'm not over that. <laughs> Is there, is there anything that you know of? Why, why do you think he, he wasn't able to bring him back? I think maybe that there were some concerns that Alex Radulov, who came back here, determined to prove himself, and we heard all about how he'd settled down from his, his younger days when he was pretty wild and he was married and had a kid. In January, he was no longer married. I don't know whether it had any effect on, uh, on his play, but uh, I think there was probably a concern that, you know, we've set a price for him. We've, we've set a number of years. I don't believe that, that, that they actually made the, the same offer. I think they made the same offer that Dallas did, but I think they made it after he'd already left. Okay. They made an offer because it looked good. It, you could say we made it, we tried, and it didn't work out. You, but I don't, I don't think they were, I don't think they're very upset that he left. Are you implying that maybe potentially Radulov got distracted in a city like Montreal, where if you're a hockey player, you know, in the nightlife, and it's a relatively quiet town. I mean, is that what you're implying, Pat? It's, it's, you alluded to that he, a little bit. He, somehow we managed to find fun. People find fun in Buffalo. <laughs> somehow, okay. okay. He had the stripe mistake. Meh, nah, big deal. Yeah. He lost 50 grand. He's going to have the Hemsky mistake. He just hasn't admitted it yet. But the biggest one is either the is the Andre Markov mistake in time with not getting a replacement and keeping nine million on the board. If he makes the Andre Markov mistake and finds a younger Andre Markov, it's not really a mistake, right? Because he still has the money. But to go into the season without a left D first pairing, you see the problems. They're pretty severe. Do you think Mete could one day play an Andre Markov type of role? Yes. But that's the thing, one day. One day. Like, not, not today. Not today. Okay, go to, Habs, go to hockeyinsideoutexcuseme.com and check out our full episode now.